This is a very nice example from um, also a master study that was done at Infineon. Uh, and the students got the task in order to figure out what kind of components should be aligned in which way in order to reduce the electromagnetic emission of a system as much as possible. And the interesting thing is he did two board designs, so board A and board B, and the circuitry is exactly the same. So it's the same topology. It's a, a step-down converter from 12 volt to 5 volt. So same circuitry, same voltage. So this is the input, 12 volt. This is the output, uh, 5 volt. The same placement area, so the size of the board is in both exactly the same. Also the same components, so he was soldering the components on board A and then reusing the components on board B. And well, as you most probably know, a switched mode DC-DC converter has some energy storage elements, some switches, so step by step go through all these components. So here is the battery input. Here is a filter, uh, here is the switch, here is a diode, here is the energy storage element, in this case an inductor to store the energy. There are also some filter components here, there's additional like capacitor and then here it goes out. Um, no. Okay, so the only difference is the layout and how the components are arranged. So board A looks pretty well designed. So here is the input. Here is the first filter. It's a pi filter. As you know, pi, Greek letter. There is a pi filter is usually a capacitor. Another capacitor and in between is an inductor. And very often designers of printed circuit boards or also ICs are designing then these pi filters exactly in this way. So there is a capacitor, the inductor, and another capacitor as it's written in the letter, also here for the output. And if you take a look at board B, uh, yeah, there are also capacitors, there are the two inductors, but it's very difficult to figure out if these two capacitors and the, this inductor is forming a filter of, or this, or maybe this and this. So it looks a little bit chaotic. The board A, I think, is well organized, so input, this is a converter output board B. It's uh, I don't know where the input. Also the input is clear. It's also here, input. But I don't really see what kind of components are related to the input. What kind of components are related to the output? So board B looks a little bit as if the outer router has done the job, and board A looks a little bit as an engineer has done the job. Okay. So from your belly feeling, what do you think? Which board is better related to electromagnetic emissions? The outer router board or the engineers board? <laughs> no, it's not. It was not done by the outer router, to be honest. And do you think there is a difference in the electromagnetic emission? Well, yes, otherwise I would not ask it. But what do you think? How big is the difference? Just some dB, some frequency range? 20 dB. Do you think it has a big influence? It, exactly the same components, the same current. Okay, let's have a look. Hope I have the result here. It's <laughs> up to 30 dB and over a wide frequency range. And the reason why there is so much more electromagnetic emission on board A, which is the beautiful board with the bi filter, done as the bi filter should be done at least from the optical point of view, is the coupling between all the components, and especially the coupling between the filtering components. So what I wanted to say with this picture is that take care that you're placing the components on the right location, and you're also considering the coupling of each component. There is a special lecture called Design, and Ele uh, design of Electronic Systems, where we are going deeper into detail about how to design the filters and how to design really a bi-filter, and you will see that this pi filter on board B has a certain purpose. Also not that you should not recognize immediately which components are the input and the output filters, but in this case, the components were located that the coupling between the filtering components is minimized. And not just the coupling between the filtering components, also the coupling between all the components. And this is also very important for the IC design because there we also have to consider that there are some 
components which are producing a lot of electromagnetic emission and this electromagnetic emission can couple by the substrate, can couple by capacitive coupling, can couple by inductive coupling to other circuitries and from there directly out of the IC. Very nice example was my last project when I was at Infineon. We had a system on chip for the automotive industry, for safety and security, a very complex IC and there were three DC-DC converters included in this IC and one of these DC-DC converters was located directly next to the lean output driver. And the lean output driver is a driver which has a direct connection to the cable harness. Cable harness is acting as a transmitting antenna, also receiving antenna. Yeah. But it ended up that you could see all the switching noise from the DC-DC converter directly on the lean bus line. And we were exceeding the electromagnetic, or the allowed electromagnetic emission on the lean bus line just because the stupid DC-DC converter was placed next to the lean bus driver. So the redesign in this case is pretty simple, just place the DC-DC converter further away. But the skill is to know this in advance, to know where to place all the things, and 